I like fake sure you may remember us down at the range uh, the other day with the Logan penetrators uh, let's see they weighed I think 9.5 grains <coughs> I've come across some old pellets of dot these weigh even lighter uh, they're called Thunderbolts pellets uh, I've lost two non-toxic they're not made of lead they're only 5 grains they are actually designed for spring piston air guns uh, but I'm going to try through uh, the uh, Brocock concept see what kind of energy they're pushing out and I've also as you know got the Gamo Whisper IGT so I can also try them in them as well uh, but to start off with I'm going to try the power through the Brocock concept and I'll test them out at the range see what they're like for accuracy uh, I mean they're so light at 5 grains and looking on the chart, 11.98 feet uh, foot pounds is it's pushing out 1039 feet per second, uh, so it's really high, high year velocity. It could affect the actual uh, accuracy, but we'll find that out. But in the meantime, I'm going to do a chronograph test with them with a the concept, and then uh, I'll do the same test with. Uh, the Gamma Whisperer as well and see what difference we get because it does say it's designed for spring guns probably a bit looser fitting in the barrel I'm not sure but we'll see Okay, shot gone. You can see it's pretty consistent. That concludes the chronograph test. Okay folks, we're down at the range uh, to test out the uh, Thunderbolt pallets. I've got the Brocock Concept, I've got the Gamma Whisper IGT there. It does say on the, uh, on the box, suit spring piston air guns. So it might do better out of that than it does out of the pre-charge, I don't know, but that's what we're about to find out. It's a nice day down here, blue skies, but cold. It's about 4 degrees centigrade, so autumn's definitely arrived. Uh, so I've set up a target at 20 yards 
and we'll see what it's grouping like there. If it groups well there, I'll, I'll step it back a bit. But uh, the first test will be done at 20 hours. So uh, we'll see what happens. Haunting pallets and the bolts. Same place. <clears throat> now, they're a very light pellet at five uh, grains, and it was only pushing out about nine and a half foot pounds. Now if I was to tune this up to close to the 12 foot pounds, which was uh, about 1,035 feet per second, any other pallet I put through this would be well over the uh, limit, so I've got to take that into account. It's a 12 shot group to get a good average and it's, it's shooting pretty good at 20 anyway so So that's 12 shots with the uh, break up concept. <coughs> Next up, it's a gamma whisper. I've no clue where that went. Put it with the uh, right hand edge of the uh, target. It could be that. Too. I'm looking for groups anyway, so as long as it'll go in there, I'm not bothered. So that's just an adjustment that can be made through the scope. So. tight as the pre-charge, that's to be expected from a recording gas run, when I'm not very used to it to be honest.
all going in the same area. Probably about an inch deep there, I think. I've got to bring my, uh, my rifle rest for this one. I think that's uh, that's a good enough test. So what can we say about them? Very light. At five grains, it's ridiculous, really. These will be affected by the wind, and the further out you go, the energy will be decrease quite a bit. The elements will have an effect on it. So I would say. They're probably good for 20, 25 yards, but above that, the energy will be uh, really dropping off by then. Uh, I'm going to say it's a, probably a fast pellet when it leaves the barrel, but it's going to slow down quite a bit compared to, say, a Bisley Magnum, which will retain its energy further away. Uh, so, worth considering. With the right gun, it will do a really tight groove. But uh, I wouldn't actually say uh, you'd use it for hunting, even though it says hunting pellets on it. It's not the ideal thing to have such a light pellet when you're hunting, because it is affected by the elements. And like I say, the energy will drop off quicker than a heavier pellet. So there we go, that's the, uh, the Thunderbolt pellet. Thanks for watching. Okay, yeah, it's a pretty tight group there. That one's opened up, but uh, that's more likely me than the gun. But obviously, uh, a recalling rifle, I've still got to get used to it. Maybe in the in the right hands, it can be just as accurate as a pre-charge, I suppose. But uh, not bad. <laughs>